Stay with me. Catch you in The good news is though, one of the waiter's brothers looking for a job, so we've got him coming in for an interview tomorrow. And we're hosting a job fair, so hopefully we should get a few candidates for all departments within the hotel. I can certainly tell you it's been a struggle for the last couple of weeks with having no kitchen porter, and he's likely to be off for another two or three weeks because he's got a really bad case of COVID. So hopefully he's doing okay, we'll be getting updates soon. It seems like every day at the minute the suppliers are out of stock of something. There's two suppliers this morning have been out of two different things, uh, which really sort of puts a bit of pressure on, you know, for uh, one of the things is croissants, other things uh, milk. You know, milk, how can we run out of milk? Um, but that's where we are, so it means I'm going to have to run to the shops and get a few things. Uh, it's just frustrating. So it's never ending. The freezer's just been fixed, but Last night, at some point during the day or night, the freezers tripped, no one's noticed it, and it started to defrost. Turned it back on, it was at minus 1.2, uh, which is normally supposed to be at minus 17. So yeah, it's dropped a fair bit, and then said to the night staff, keep an eye on that. But it went on defrost setting, and when someone came in this morning, it was at plus 7. So we can't go into the freezer right now, we've had guys out to have a look at it. I think they've fixed it, but it's going to take about 10 hours to get back to minus 17 or minus 19. So yeah, uh, good times. Plus, the fridge has started frosting over, but that's it's just because of the heat at the minute. It's so warm. Um, the, the fridges and freezers are working overtime. Um, there's really nothing we can do but get guys out. Keep trying to keep doors closed as much as possible. Nightmare. Well, what a shift that was. In the morning the freezer breaks, then at night the walk-in fridge is up at 20 degrees because the the guys forgot to turn a switch on. Mad panic putting stuff in other fridges. Oh, glad to be finished. So something had happened with the freezer when they came out to fix it, it tripped. There's like a, a trip box in there, or fuse box sorry in there. And then there's in the boiler room, there's a, a, another trip fuse and they're supposed to be connected and that one's supposed to trip before that one because that's the main one. Anyway, it tripped. They turned off the fridge or the, the disconnect to the fridge part. Um, so that didn't trip, but it kept running. Then the ice that was building up broke, fell into one of the fans. The fan got stuck because of the ice. And there's two fans, but one of them got stuck and it stopped working. So the other one's running in overtime so yeah, that, that, at the end of the night, the fridge was up at like 20 degrees. Luckily there were what, two two or three fridges that we weren't using because we've had to sort of downshift what we're doing in the kitchen. So we managed to put everything into uh, other fridges, uh, but it was just chaos. Because we're in the middle of service when, when that happened. You know, so some of us are trying to do service and there's only about three of us in the kitchen at times, so the general manager's helping and it's just absolute mental. Um, and we've managed to get it that it's running for now but they can't actually come to fix it until Tuesday so I've got like five days to wait um, so far it's working um, or one of the fans is just having to work overtime but it's only a matter of time before that fan says like I've had enough uh, you know so uh, hopefully it doesn't break before Tuesday well the EHO has just arrived they're in the reception talking to the general manager right now, but they're about to come into the kitchen and check through, make sure we're uh, you know, up to code, make sure everything's clean and tidy, which we are. Uh, considering there's no kitchen porter, we've done really quite well, so we're just gonna let her come in, check over all the paperwork to make sure that we fill in the diary, and then she'll check around the kitchen to make sure everything's okay. Fingers crossed. So the environmental health is now away. Good news, they said it's the best one they've done yet. Uh, and that's, that's us without a kitchen porter, so the, it's, a, it's a real teamwork effort, a real uh, pat on the back for all the chefs for keeping up with cleaning the kitchen. Uh, they've really done well, we've been busy, we've been short staffed, um, it's, it's taken a lot to keep the kitchen clean and we will continue to do so. So happy days. One new start, three hours late yesterday and another one that didn't show up. It's an absolute nightmare trying to get staffed right now. 
Oh, what can you do? Well, we've finally got a kitchen porter at last. Uh, he started with us um, and he's been doing 10 till 2. Uh, so it's not a full day, but it's just having someone at that time is phenomenal. It really, really is. We've got. What's happening? Stephen, for the trial shift. So someone else has just showed up for a trial shift as a kitchen porter. So I'm going to go and give him a guided tour and get him started. And uh, hopefully, we'll be able to keep him. Well, I'm going to call it there for the vlog. It has been a manic week, all sorts happening. I haven't even been able to, I haven't been able to cover it all. It's, uh, it's just been non-stop. So I'll see you next week. <laughs>